When we pick up these things, they might seem to our conscious mind to be unimportant. To our subconscious mind, they're important, or we would not pick them up. It's very simple. Your subconscious mind doesn't bother with most of the stuff that happens. Yes, but okay? my mind is questioning what I have to do with this stuff. You don't have to do anything. Experience it. If it turns out to be useful, great, use it. But if it doesn't, experience it. You don't have to do anything if you see a beautiful sunset. Right? You just happen to walk along, you glance over there, oh, beautiful sunset, what shall I do with it? Enjoy it. Experience it. Not we, we don't have to do something with Not everything. The message from the cool no, no, don't worry about whether it has meaning. That's the biggest waste of time. Let me tell you something. Spirit of the universe, if you like to call it God or, or Mother or anything you prefer, the spirit of the universe is not dumb, okay, at all. So if there is an experience in your life, it's an experience that is having an effect on you. It does not have to be intellectualized. You don't have to figure it out with your conscious mind. Sometimes a sunset will have a transforming effect on some part of your being that you may never consciously be aware of. But it'll change something. Everything we experience changes something. For most of us in the Western tradition of education, we become obsessed with knowing why. That's most of the time a waste of time. If you say why and you don't get an answer, then why is not an appropriate question. To keep on asking why then doesn't make any sense. Why did that sunset come at this exact moment when I was just happened to look over there? That's not an appropriate question. It doesn't compute. It happened. It had its effect. That's all there needs to be. If you go around trying to look at everything as an omen, you're going to go crazy. Why did that bird land in that tree? Okay. Why did I hear that sound? Why did that particular wave touch my foot? You go out of your mind. Okay. If it's interesting enough, ask why. And if you don't get an answer, it's not important. Why is not the question to ask. Now, another interesting question not required. But another interesting question is, how can I use this? If you don't get an answer, then it doesn't matter whether you use it or not. But often when you ask that question, you'll get an interesting answer. It doesn't mean it's the only answer. It means that part of the experience you are able to transform into something useful. But it does, doesn't mean that's why the experience happened. The experience could have happened for thousands of reasons. So if you get an answer, that's great. If you don't get an answer, then getting an answer is not important. Okay? That's why I was talking before. Spirit isn't dumb. If it wants you to know something, it'll make sure you know it. And if that's irrelevant, then you'll just pound your head trying to make sense out of something. And finally, what you'll do with the help of someone else or yourself is you'll come up with an answer that satisfies you that may or may not have anything to do with it. But if it makes you feel good, okay, that, that's why. Okay, now I can rest. Okay. And you've just made that up. Actually, in, in one of our courses and teachings, because we are making everything up anyway, when someone asks me to interpret a dream, there's a couple ways we can go, but sometimes I'll just tell them, well, what would you like the dream to mean? Well, I'd like it to mean this. Good. That's as valid as anything else. And if you pick that as your meaning, that is the meaning that will influence you. So why waste time trying to figure it out? Decide what it means right off bat. 
right off the bat. And decide, I mean, as long as you're making it up, decide something positive. I've told some of you this before, but one time Gloria and I were on a, a program to increase our prosperity, and we made the conscious decision to interpret everything as an omen of coming prosperity. So, uh, oh, I dropped a spoon, that means money's coming. But you hear that truck coming from the left? Money's coming from that direction. Okay. The phone's ringing. Money's coming. Hey, money started coming. <laughs> because we had oriented our mind in that direction with our decisions, and the universe began to respond with opportunities. See? So we're making up all of our interpretations anyway. Make up good ones. Why not? 